So, welcome to week four. This week, we will consider how freedom of expression has placed specific emphasis on some form of expression and determined that they should be the object of enhanced protection. These are political expression to begin with. That includes expression for public debate purposes and expression focusing on political and public officials. These expressions that are the object of enhanced protection include as well media. Press freedom is indeed the object of much protection under international human rights standard. This applies to the written press, to television and radio, and to the practice of journalism, as well as, as we shall see next week, to online media. In each of these segments, we will consider cases and examples where the principles are not respected and the implications of these violations for freedom of expression and the right of society to access information. We will also see how courts around the world have reacted against such violations and argued why these violations are not acceptable. Altogether, as we shall see, these decisions from national, regional and international courts, along with the work done by activists and uh, the media, along with many laws and constitutions, have contributed to strengthening the protection of political expression and of press and media freedom globally. So welcome to week four.